Hello, my name's Ian Hamilton. I'm the race director of the Outlaw Nottingham. Over the next few minutes, we're gonna go through a summary of the race briefing. You've done lots of training though, so make sure you go online and download the full race information. It's much more detailed than what we're gonna take you through. There might be tiny little bits of information that could change your race on race day, so make sure you go through it. Before though, just wanna say thank you very much. It's a tough year, we all know that the cost of living's going up as we keep being told, so we really appreciate your entry. We also really appreciate the hundreds of people, a 50 strong crew, which give up within reason a whole week to put the event on for you, 300 volunteers that are there for the weekend. Really appreciate all of that and the local clubs that are gonna support you. So, thank you for your entry. Spend the next few minutes watching the race briefing and don't forget, read the online information as well. Thank you. On Saturday, we have various events happening. The Expo and Outlaw Swim registration opens at 8 o'clock. The 2.5 Outlaw Swim starts at 9, followed by Outlaw Triathlon registration at 9.30. Transition will open at 10. Then at 10.30 there's an Outlaw Swim practice. 11.30 there is the Outlaw Swim 5k actual event. And then 12.30 and 2.30 there's the Halo ID transition walk. An opportunity to walk around transition and get some last minute tips and ask any questions you might have. At 2.30 there's the Future Outlaw running event. 3 o'clock there's the Outlaw Prayer. Final opportunity to do the Outlaw Swim practice at 3.15 and then the site closes at 4pm. Continuing with Saturday, all packs for the Outlaw Triathlon must be collected between 9.30 and 4 o'clock. It's important to know your race number before you turn up and you can find this from the start list on our website outlawtriathlon.com. Make sure you have your 2022 BTF race license or some kind of photo ID before actually turning up to collect your race pack. If you haven't pre-purchased your day license and don't have a full race license, you will have to purchase one of these from registration, which will cost you six pounds. In your race pack, it will contain two numbers, three sticker sets, that's one for the bike, one for your helmet, and a sticker set for your transition bags. There'll be a security wristband and a swim cap. Don't forget, you'll also be collecting your timing chip and timing strap. Okay, at registration, you'll also collect any pre-purchased car park passes. If you haven't pre-purchased one, you can purchase one on the day, which will cost you £10. Don't forget, if you're planning on using a special needs bag as well for the bike section, you need to drop this off on Saturday at registration, not transition. Special needs bags will be available on Sunday from Bike Feed Station 1 and 4. Bike racking on Saturday is between 10am and 4pm. We've allocated you slots of 90 minutes. However, it's not a huge problem if you're not able to turn up during those slots. Don't forget before going into transition, you'll have to put your security wristband on and fix your bike stickers. Okay, the other thing to do that we'd recommend anyway, is make sure you put your bag stickers onto your transition bags and your dry bags. Make sure you make the most of Saturday. Ask any questions whatsoever that you might have. There'll be opportunity to ask questions during the Halo ID walk at 12.30 and 2.30, but just generally take a walk around the venue, take a walk around transition. You'll be able to see all of the swim and you can actually see most of the run as well. Take some time out to visit the expo. It's the biggest expo we've ever had, more stands than ever before, and obviously a great opportunity to go and buy some official outlaw merchandise. Okay, don't forget though, the full site will close at 4 p.m. That means you need to be racked and out of transition. Please don't be late on Saturday. Team information. Don't forget, only one person needs to attend on Saturday, and that's predominantly to register everybody, but just rack one bike. That one person does need to show everybody in the team's IDs and BTF licenses, either a full race license or 
a one day license. If you haven't pre-purchased, as I've said before, you'll need to purchase those on a day and they'll cost you six pounds. Regarding the tagging, we will be using the timing chip as the baton again. All teams are going to be racked together in transition and different to normal events, tagging will actually take place next to the change marquees. Further information is available in the full race information. And finally regarding teams, now we are able to allow more people down the finish. It does mean all of the team can actually finish together, collect their team t-shirts and medals from the finish. On race day, the car parks will be open from 4.15. We'll be using various car parks throughout the weekend. So when you arrive, just follow the directions of the stewards. One thing, please allow 10 minutes at least to walk to transition, depending on where you might get parked. Transition will be open from 4.45. It's slightly different. Remember to show your wristbands as you come in. You need to be wearing your helmet and have it fastened up as you come into transition. If you've taken your bags home, then please bring your transition and your drive bags back. Please don't forget anything on Sunday morning. There's going to be two security entrances that will be opened up at either end of transition. You'll have full access to transition on the morning, so up from 4.45 till 6 a.m. Each bit dry, including the dry bag area of transition, will be open. There's going to be no additional bags in transition apart from your transition bags and your dry bags. So please bear that in mind when you're coming on Sunday morning. And just for information, don't forget, everybody will be starting at 6am together. There'll be one swim start and that's at 6am. We'll allow you into the water 10 to 15 minutes before the start to allow you to acclimatise. There'll be four swim bays which you can choose from. For further information to help you seed, please read the final race information. Okay. The swim is very simple. It's one lap and it's around the edge of the lake in a clockwise direction. Make sure you have all the swim boys on your right, staying on the left as you go around each of them. At the end, you will turn left and exit via the pontoon and underneath the zone three gantry. The cutoff for swim is two hours, nice and simple. We then allow you 15 minutes to get through transition and start the bike. There will be a substantial swim safety team and if you need assistance, just roll onto your back, shout and wave your arms if possible. If you do require a rest, then you are able to hold on to one of the boats that we have. This is an update from our race information. And if you have any medical conditions, please request a white swim hat, either at registration or the swim star, so you're aware, so that we are aware you have a medical condition. The bike course is 112 miles. This consists of one lap of the Southern Loop, followed by one lap of the Northern Loop, and then finish with a final lap of the Southern Loop before returning to the venue. Remember, it's an open road course. Most of the junctions will be managed. However, I'd recommend that you ride it as a normal Sunday morning ride. So please, don't take any risks yourself or risk other road users that are about. The course is going to be marked out on Saturday. So if you do want to recce it, then you will be fine to do that during Saturday. If there are any surface defects, then that will be marked by orange spray. So please just be careful when you see orange spray on the road. When there is a junction you, you are required to turn, there'll be three arrows, one before, one on the junction, and then one after the junction as a reassurance arrow that you know you're going in the right direction. We have four types of support vehicles which are going to be on the course. Those are the motos, NEGs as we call them, and they'll have comms with the control room and then the race referee. Their job is to ensure you're riding within the rules of the road and the rules of the sport. There'll be two OSB mechanical support vehicles out there. And if they can, they will help you and they will keep you going. Bear in mind though, they do become very busy, so please ensure that you take your own spares and pump, and also know how to use them. That's pretty good. 
Also, there'll be an OSB sweeper vehicle. So if everything has gone wrong and you've got a major mechanical, then we will bring you back to venue. Unfortunately, that sweeper vehicle is not just there to return anybody back to the venue that's having a bad day. Sorry about that. And finally, obviously, there's medical support vehicles out there. There have been numerous ambulances, etc., out on course, and we will liaise with the NEGs and any other people to ensure that we support you if you require medical assistance. The feed stations at 24 miles, 51 miles, 62 and 89. If you want to collect bottles, drop litter, collect gels or possibly bananas, make sure you slow down, do it safely. Think of the volunteers and think about other road users as you pass these. At each of the feed stations, obviously there's litter drop and there's going to be toilets. If you're planning on using a special needs bag, don't forget you need to drop it off on Saturday at registration and these will be kept at feed station one and four. So you'll pass them at mile 24 and you'll pass them at mile 89. Okay, one thing I would say, we're not able to guarantee you get these bags back. So please bear that in mind when you drop them off to us. There are also additional litter drops and these, this is at 12 miles, 36, 76 and 100. So it might be possible that you're carrying something and that you need to get rid of it. So there are additional litter drop areas at four points on the course. To ensure that we have a live feed, we have timing points at two miles, 15, 63 and 79. So for your friends and family that are watching, then they're the points when we'll be taking a live feed from you and finding out where you are from an accurate point of view. Into the last two miles, so after 110, please be careful. The surface really isn't great, but it's our only option and we're very grateful that we can use the private road through Home Pierpont Hall. But please be careful for the last couple of miles of the course. Obviously we have to have cutoff points and these are at mile 40, 75, and then the final cutoff point obviously is at 112 miles. The specific times of where you need to be and where you need to pass are within the race information. In total, you have eight hours to finish the bike. The run is a full marathon, 26.2 miles. It consists of two large out and back laps and then one small lap of the lake. In total, there are 16 feed stations, which work out averagely about 1.5 miles apart. Some are slightly more, some are slightly less. On each feed station, you'll find water, coke, high five energy and zeros, gels and caffeinated gels, plus bananas and oranges. Each feed station is also a litter drop area and also has toilets. In total, there are eight timing points, which we use to accurately assess where you are and keep the live trackers updated for your friends and family to follow on outlawtriathlon.com. There are two cutoff points, and these are at 12 miles and 20 miles. Further information regarding the times can be found on page nine of our race information. After you've passed the finish three times, don't forget on your fourth, turn left and come onto the famous orange finish carpet. The cutoff for the total event is 17 hours. It's great news now. Post COVID, friends and family allowed down the finish shoot with you. However, due to overcrowding and getting good photographs for everybody, we recommend just two people come down. If you have children accompanying with you, then ensure there's someone to meet them at the family collection point at the top of the metal stairs immediately after you've finished. Once you've finished, you'll then pass medical, go 
through, collect your finishers medal and your finishers t-shirt. It's then up the stairs to go for your post-event meal and no doubt a very welcome cold Erdinger, which will be served in the registration tent to athletes only. A little bit of general information. Clearly, nobody's really aware at the moment of what the weather's going to be like. Please build in your preparation to how the weather's going to be. We certainly are at the moment. There will also be a live tracker. I've mentioned it before, and that will be on outlawtriathlon.com front page. It will allow friends and family to follow you around the race if they can't make it. Also, don't forget to sign up for your free AWOL photographs pre-event. You do need to do this pre-event. Don't forget if you enjoy yourself or maybe achieve a top three in age group overall or relay, there's presentation at 12 noon in the main building at the National Water Sports Centre. Come along. It's a great time. Celebrate the event and celebrate those people that have done well by winning an award. And finally, our office is going to close on Wednesday the 20th at 5pm. After this point, you'll need to wait until you attend the event to ask any further questions. So, thank you to all those that are supporting us. Thank you to you, the athletes that are entering. We're really, really grateful. Also, to our 50 strong crew, you do an amazing job and without you, we really couldn't do it. We'll have over 300 volunteers, mainly from the local clubs that you can see on your screen at the moment, to help put this amazing event on. We really couldn't do it without all your support and we're very grateful. Thank you very much. So that's the race briefing. Further information, don't forget, is online at outlawtriathlon.com or obviously you can ask us on the Saturday when you're actually at the event. Once again, thank you very much. We hope you've enjoyed your experience so far. It's only a few days away from the race now. Don't forget, keep an eye on the weather. None of us know what's going to happen. Okay, take your time, rest, enjoy. We look forward to seeing you at the weekend. Cheers, everyone.